generic greetings and welcome to It's a Wrap. Today's beverage is a very refreshing orange and passion fruit still water, very hydrating indeed. So welcome to It's a Wrap. This is essentially a puzzle platformer where not only do we play as the utterly insufferable and self-absorbed Johnny, who is the star of this sort of in-universe 80s uh, set of films, but also we play as the editor where we'll change timings and alter the... Well, you'll see. Uh, basically, we have to edit things and move stuff around in order to accomplish what it's said in the script. Anyway, over to play and we'll see what this is like. Over to a save I played for just under an hour there. And we have three in-universe films on the go. We've got Ace of Anti and The Very Last Crusade. Obviously, definitely not Indiana Jones. We've got Big Trouble in Space, which could be sort of Star Wars, Blade Runner type thing. General sort of space opera stuff. And then Cold as hell which have not yet unlocked and uh, you are filth and I come to clean I think that's like a 80s cop thing anyway over to Ace Advanti here and we're going to go with his Johnny which is the very first scene and then we'll load this up so yes our uh, main character here who has uh, yeah Johnny what do you think you're doing uh, they were actually daydreaming earlier in a, in a bit of a cut uh, cut scene um, so uh, the crew call was an hour ago yes yeah, so was that today anyway so A and D to move around and we can see we've got different parts of the set getting built space to jump you can also press W as well I think controller support is available but not yet tried it and this is actually a bit of foreshadowing like a lot of this set we will actually see later on like that tank for example that is part of uh that is part of it as well. And we can do some wall jumping. So there we go. Wall jump over that. Go up to here. And yeah, it's just a very quick sort of tutorial on how to basically get around. And then we can slide down the wall. So we obviously do our own stunts, which is good. And look who decided to show up. His Majesty Johnny Rush himself. There you are. I was worried sick. Please get dressed. And we go in there and <laughs> all the clothes fly off. And uh, yeah, we come out the other side. The animation and presentation in general is just very good throughout. I'm not sure about the animation. I don't know why our legs seem to be faster than the rest of the body or do we just have a lot of resistance up top shall we say <laughs> you sort of running at a 45 degree angle anyway over to the set and there is the flag every level will have a star point and then an end flag and then well we have to do something uh, in between the two. Oh, so we were born ready. Let's get to set, which is called, for the first scene, a Dead Eye Mountain. So here we are in the mountains there, snowy topped. And this is a bit of a rope bridge across a cavernous cavern. And also some definitely not fake alligators or crocodiles or whatever they happen to be. So it's giving us a tutorial here, which we do not yet need. Um, I'm just going to sort of skip through this one and we'll see what we can do. So we need to get across and we're going to run and we're running, 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 running. And oh, the bridge breaks and um, we fall down. You get lost, Johnny? Uh, do you need a navigator? <laughs> if it's not punny, it's not funny. So you missed your mark and we reset. So that is the idea. So basically what we have to do we can move the timeline so things will happen. We can slide this along and you will spend a lot of time in this editor to move things like that. And we can then alter this so that basically the things will um, yeah, things will be altered. Like, for example, this bridge, it collapses at this queue here. So we could bring it right in like that. And then basically it collapses straight away. So we know we can't pass that. Whereas if we put it, say, over there, we might be able to do that. Um, you do have a script, which I'll show you in a moment. But let's see if I can get across i don't know if i've actually moved that back enough and oh it's just gonna be off i think can we jump we can jump and there we go so and cut not too bad for a start there we go moving on okay good take uh did i miss my line i feel like i messed up my line this is our co-star here don't sweat it mark you outdid yourself okay we can press and hold shift to skip through all of this which is what i'm going to do just for the sake of showing the gameplay and it's a wrap, next scene. So the next scene might be a bit more different. This is called scene two, the jump. And there's a skull in the snow there. It's amazing that you do all these stunts yourself, Mr. Rush. Yes, indeed. Got a point there, kid. I am quite amazing. As I said, utterly self-absorbed. 
<laughs> our star is here. And um, there's the end flag, so that's where we need to get to. And we have a couple of things that we can control. But this is the script anyway, so it's exterior in the Himalayas, mountaintop, day. A snowstorm lets loose its wrath upon our heroes and deadly avalanche barrels towards them. Bula, too afraid to continue, sends Ace off alone to the unknown. Ace's line. Uh, uh, the relic must be on the other side. Bula shaking his head. It's too dangerous, Ace, seemingly unimpressed. I've had worse. Now, push. Uh, without hesitation, Ace jumps across the cliff and continues his way to the top. So, let's just click action because this is often what you have to do. You have to, you have to see the failure in order to like understand what's going to happen. So, there we go. I've just sat on here and we see the boulder down there and then we get pushed over and... Yeah, that didn't work. So we need to edit this. We can edit the boat and we can edit the avalanche. But the avalanche, it has to go within the scene. So you can't just remove it or pull it. So, for example, it, it doesn't even start until we're at the end. So we need to probably make the boat start straight away. That's going to go down. And, ah, so the boat will hit there. <laughs> I don't know how an inflatable rubber... Uh, dinghy explodes <laughs> with fire, but this is the 80s after all. And we probably want to go underneath that, don't we? That's the idea here. So that boulder goes down, or the avalanche. We go underneath, we can jump off, and then we can run up. I think that is the way forward. So scene two, take two, and action. So we jump on the boat, and we slide down, and we jump. And there we go, our momentum pulls to the end. And oh, there we go. I did a wall jump instead, which is wrong. But we've got the arrows there to indicate where we need to go. And there we are. We've got to... Uh, it's a, it's literally a doom fortress. It's a skull on the side of a mountain. Okay, cut. Not bad. That is pretty good. So, nice one. Good job. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. Um, now get a move on, people. Time is money. That is either the director or most likely the producer. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe I could take on more lines my next scene. Anyway, let's just skip all of this because we, uh, let's say, mainly focusing on the gameplay element on this one. Next scene. So, what is this one? This is Into the Mountain. And we charge forward here and change into definitely not Indiana Jones costume. So, right, give me the best jumps, Johnny. Okay, hop here, bounce there. Um, why don't you cast a rubber ball instead? Yes. So, we have the ending on the very right. And we have what appears to be some lava. Okay, so interior, cave, narrow passage, daytime. Not that we would know, I guess. Apart from the light shining through the entrance where. His echoing footsteps fill the cave as Ace makes his entrance. A lake of lava stretches before him, lighting up the dark passage. Ace. Now that's more like it. I hate the cold. Without warning, the roof of the cave starts collapsing. Ace has to make a run for it. After a dramatic boulder chase and a leap of faith, he finally reaches safety. So... These clips are locked, so we can't move them. When we mouse over them, it also shows you where they are in the scene itself. So these rocks, we have one, two, three, four, and then we have another one or two over there. So as we scrub this timeline along, yeah, we can see it's doing the sort of Goonies thing where we've got one, two, three, four stones. So we definitely have to run. If we just stay there, we are... Definitely dead. Okay, and then we've also got another boulder here. So that is going to be a boulder that, yep, yeah, that's going to be the rolling boulder. So now we're on to, yeah, we're on to the first Indiana Jones film. And rolling down. I say that, it's sort of serial 30s, 40s, isn't it? Um, so we need to alter it so that, for example, this doesn't splash down that, uh, that early. Because if we stand on pillar number one... Well, it's fine, but then pillar number two is not there. So naturally, pillar two is going to go along. Um, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to bring this back here. So the pillar's starting to fall because we're going to use the momentum of that to basically uh, land on top of the other one. Can we do that? So that one, then that one, and then we're through. And that gives us a little bit more time because obviously we have to uh, run, a, we run like away from the boulder as well falling. So here's the boulders falling here. We jump and don't worry, it's not real lava. Um, <laughs> one would hope not. If so, how do you even get that? I mean, can you buy lava? No, I very much doubt it. Um, cue all the links in the uh, description showing where you can buy lava. So we managed to do those first two jumps, which was perfectly fine, and we got to the... 
we got to the end and became a little bit thinner than we perhaps wanted. So this is going to be... I actually didn't realise that that... Well, I saw the column and I saw the boulder hit it last time, but... Yeah, I thought we could just run, like, behind it or whatever. I thought it was just a... I know, it's, I know the game's too dimensional, but it was, it's, it's, it was a background element. That's what I thought it was. But it's going to be a bit of a wall jumping puzzle. So we can jump there and then jump there. And then, yeah, that's it. And job done. So that was a fairly sedate one, that one. So cut. That's a wrap. Let's go ahead. That was amazing, Mr. Rush. You still got it, Johnny. Excellent. You sound surprised. And uh, that was one hell of a jump. And, oh, here, have a... Fizzly. Uh, it's, a, it's a can. Okay. I'll take one. So, no beverage for him. <sighs> Next scene. Okay. Let's see what this one entails. This is uh, scene four. Uh, Secret of the Eye, I think that was. Okay. So, this is a bit different. And it's just straight onto roll camera. No messing about. So, we have a couple of locked things. Um, so, interior volcano, daytime. Ace finds himself at the fiery heart of the mountain. Across the angry lava lies an ancient item shimmering in the dark. Without a second to lose, Ace makes his way over and grabs the item. So, it's in red, so it has to be done. Ace, disappointed. Just an old map. Useless. Okay, trapped in the chamber by fallen debris. He keeps avoiding his death by jumping between platforms. Ace, excited. A map. Hmm. Adventure, time to rush. Volcano erupts and shooting Ace through the roof. So let's once again scrub through this timeline. We've got rocks falling on the left-hand side, which we cannot alter. Platform 1 is being shot up there, and we can alter that. But we can then alter this, so we can, we can alter the second activation. We also have eruptions, which is... Oh, this one here. So we need to clear... We need to clear the first platform before that happens. So we can't just stand on there. We also have platform two, which is in the middle. And then another one, which is pushes up to the exit at the end. So that's how we get up there. And we finally have another eruption um, there. Okay, so we can only really scrub a couple of these along. So I'm going to move platform two to there so jump off that one jump onto that one obviously platform three can also be moved along as well i know these are going under the lava but i think airtime will carry us over and there's that one there interesting so it goes we'll go from the first one to the second one to the third one grab the map and then we need to get back over to the second can we just do that and stack them so we get jump on the first, uh, sorry, first, second, third, then the third again, then on the second, there's a thing that would kill us if we were there, then on the first, then back to the second, and yep, yeah, that would actually get us there, I think. So you can see how powerful that the timeline is. You do have to use that to the best of your ability. That was a very badly timed jump, and we'll grab that, and we need to jump and land on that one. And then jump and land on that one and jump that one. And this is the last one. Time's running out. But there we go. We are out of the top. Uh, Johnny? <laughs> There's the sound guy. Hmm. Boom operator, technically. And there we go. It is indeed a wrap. So, we have done several scenes. This is scene five, old enemies. Now, this one here. This one very much... Uh, took me quite a while to to do, and ooh, uh, so we've got another we've got another carrot, and there's that tank there. All right, hand over the map, okay. And oh, they've they've got a they've got a tank with a cannon shell. Yeah, you're not me, you're the tree. Don't ever read the script. Uh, this you know as well as I do the script uh, stinks. Anyway, let's skip through this. So. Exit, mountaintop, sunset. It's out of the frying pan and into the fire for Ace. Um, uh, so we've got uh, Lieutenant Fushbaum, a vile gem commando, follow treasure hunter, and Ace's arch nemesis rides into view on an old tank. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so, I thought you died in the last adventure. Uh, <laughs> hand over the map. Don't think so. Ace makes a run for it. Right, so, uh, heavy fire towards a cliff. Let's just scrub this timeline. So we have a helicopter, because of course we do. Uh, they have a tank and a helicopter. Originally I thought, can we use the tank to shoot the helicopter? But sadly not. So we can't alter the helicopter. So that strafing fire is, yes, going across. And if you get hit by that, it is 
<laughs> it is an old rap for 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 Johnny. Uh, we can alter the snow and we can alter the tank as well. And there's two bits in there where the tanks were firing. So the best thing to do would be to maybe take cover. Maybe take cover. Oh, how are we going to do this? See, so the tank eventually falls off and crashes. So even if we put that right at the end, we can't get through here. And... I mean, could we realistically jump there and then rebound off that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, so we could follow the tank down. No, we definitely have to hide, don't we? Mm, I mean, you know, we can't even stay all the way back there. This is where it gets a bit tricky. So we could get to that point. Uh, maybe bring... So we want the tank to fire. Maybe a bit, uh, maybe a lot earlier, actually. But we want to keep that rope bridge intact. So I'm going to do that. That protects that thing. But then that shoots there. So I'd have to maybe put this in here. Yeah, then it collapses, but we'd already be dead. <laughs> which is not what we want. Definitely not. Yeah, so I'm not too sure what the deal with that would be. Can we, can we beat? Ah, oh, we might be able to get in here, then go back over and round. Ah, yeah. That's what to do, and then go behind. Yeah, so instead of falling down here, going along, and then jumping over, it's the opposite way around. We run past this. The tree, as it's collapsing, we should be able to get under and then round. Okay, we'll try that. We'll give it a go. As I said, one of the things with the game is you often just are best just play it. Just play the scene. Oh, we're going to get hit by that tree. We're going to get hit. No, no, we didn't get hit by the tree. We, um, yes, we simply got hit by the, <laughs> yeah, by the, uh, by the spray of the helicopter. So I'm going to put this as late as possible then. Um, but that would be alright. I'll bring it back once. Then that comes down. Yeah, that's that, that might be right. That might be right. I don't know how much room there is for experimentation. As in, you know, what can we do in terms of the, uh, the timing? Like, is there multiple ways of doing it? I would imagine so. Oh, I've totally messed up the platforming. And, oh, there we go. Yeah, we totally messed that up. And uh, that's a... Uh, yeah, one more time. <laughs> okay, action. Back to here. I think that's doable. I think that feels doable. There might be some tweaking required, but that should be about right. I've, looks, hopefully I won't mess up the uh, platforming. Although, I must confess, I do think the platforming can be a bit tighter. And, oh, that's totally messed that up. Totally messed that up. Just cut. Skip. Action. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do think it, was, it would be a bit tighter at times. Sometimes when you, you're you not grabbing on, where you, it feels like you should be able to, or the jumps is just a bit off. All right, so we go up there, then we go onto that, then onto that, then up here. And again, just a bit off there. We need to let the helicopter pass. Okay. Um, and if this doesn't work this time, I'll show you another feature of the game, which is what happens when you get stuck? Well, the game will provide you with hints. So it is available. So we'll go now. And... No, no, we, we, we got shot. Okay, we are going to press escape. We're going to do a hint. And what you can do is you can click in the script to show you a hint there. Ace jumps right down in front of the tree and falls, uh, finds himself trapped. He turns around to see it, a brief window to escape. So that's giving us a bit of a clue in the script. So it's telling us we need to jump down here and then it is this. So I think this is the correct sequence. However, let's go to hint and there... It looks like the tank needs to go a little bit earlier. Just It was only one um, second earlier. And we're going to go hint and then that. And that was actually exactly where it needed to be. So it was just that one little alter that one little change. A one little change where the tank needed to be a second earlier. But naturally you would spend all the time you need to ooh, uh, doing this. And um, we should be able to... Timings are all wrong. No, the timings are perfect. 
I guess just the timing for the platforming section because I think I went underneath the underneath the snow there. Yeah, I mean, obviously you would tweak and change this and get it just right. But as I said, I don't know if there's only one solution and it's you finding that solution. And, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, reset. Okay, action again. Let's try this. Take it. Okay. I mean, it's a big blockbuster. We've got loads of, we've got loads of takes, haven't we? Um, I'm not too sure why there's now a big sepia filter of the entire thing, though. So, snow goes down. We jump on. It's not jumping. It didn't jump. It did not jump again. I think that's because I pressed W as well. Try again. Okay. So, under the tree, there's the shell hit that. Wait for this. Jump, jump, jump. Yes. Get on the tank. Feels good. Jump off that. And please cut before we actually do get cut in half by that uh, gun and onto the airbag and then face first onto the ground. Okay, uh, nothing broken, right? Uh, then you're uh, then you're dilly dallying to the next one. <laughs> and there we go, that's a wrap. Okay, we're gonna go to main menu just for a second, and we should have yeah, we've got big trouble in space. I'm just gonna show you the first level of this one. So this is slightly different mechanics. This one. And, uh, yeah, we'll skip all this one. So, uh, that's, uh, like I say, it was, yes, I don't think it was very well received, the, uh, the other one. This is a more of a sci-fi adventure. And we've got, oh, uh, all lights are set. We've got the robot there and then the exit on the top right. So, exterior, future LA, junkyard at night. The air is 2084, uh, darkest night and the sound of distant police sirens. We see... Uh, Dark Jupiter, a worn-out intergalactic smuggler from Earth 2.0 on the run from the law. So that's who we, we had, uh, so Dirk Jupiter. Um, heading in the shadows, hiding in the shadows, he certainly sneaks through the junkyard past the giant enforcer bot towards the hideout without being seen. Okay, so, right, we now have another couple of things. We have visibility as a mechanic for the sort of platform bits and also we have these which are infinite scene infinite loops so these can be scrubbed along the timeline like so so i'm just going to click action and see what it does and see what happens so we've got we are behind this cargo container here but when we get seen we get yeah we get laser eyed so we need to stay behind this container which the wall will fall away and we need it to fall away as this thing is about maybe there and we're gonna run with it here and to about there we now have this thing which hopefully will be about there yeah and then we run underneath that and when we get to this side we want this to be about there and i think there's a bit of a platforming bit over that side yeah and here we go so we're gonna run along here wait for that windmill thing to stop there we get hide behind this one we do have a bit of a grace period i should point out so for example yeah like that there didn't didn't work that did it um <laughs> right okay oh hang on wait From the beginning. right so it goes along ah and i forgot about the elevator so actually uh-huh so originally i thought we can jump on there it's not we're gonna keep running back and then forward and that is where we want this to start that should be that should be it now i think so we're gonna run to the right get behind that you see there we had a little bit of time where we were just behind there uh, just out of um out of cover there so we were visible but the robot like say has a bit of a grace period there we can run down and jump up and jump 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 and <laughs> and there is our definitely not cardboard uh <laughs> <laughs> Spaceship. Oops. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a wrap. All right. So I think we'll probably call it there for now. That's it's a wrap. And this is scene number two on the run here. And this is all visual effects. So we don't actually have to do um, any jumping platforming, really. It's just we still have to move the car. So we, if I click action, you'll see. So um, we have our... 
we have a spacecraft or car thing there. And the idea is we have to stay behind other cars because if we come out there, we get spotted by the law and that's it. So the idea is, again, some of these are locked. Some of them are repeating, like the subway cars. And some of them we can just alter the queues to where they go. And again, you can press S for script. It shows you what you need to do. If there's any problems, you can go hints, script, and what is that? It says, yeah, changing lanes like a madman, one switching direction midway through another car's journey to hide behind the ice cream truck. So, yeah, we can just uh, basically follow that. Anyway, that has been a bit of the game. Overall, then, uh, thoughts are positive. I do wish the... Uh, the, uh, the the jumping was a bit tighter at times. There's been a couple of things there, probably on my... Uh, part obviously of messing up but where it feels like we should be able to wall jump and we haven't or we've just missed a jump for whatever reason just it just doesn't have that it's like nine tenths of the way there just a little bit extra i don't know whether it's the animations or just not used to it yet but um it is sort of a minor thing it can get a bit annoying at times but you know it's we get there in the end um the presentation as i said is uh just lovely throughout um like i say the the aesthetic as well <laughs> i do like the 80s movie theme thing it's got going on and the whole time scrubbing editing mechanic just has a little bit extra it's it's just a mechanic that i've not really um not really seen in a lot of games there has been ones where you have like time altering things or you can reverse time uh, or you can do an action with one character and then follow the ghost of that to do another so these things you know have been shown in other games but um this just seems to put together in a fairly decent package either way if you want to see more by all means let me know in the comments if you have any tips comments suggestions or games you'd like to check out then by all means put them in there as well hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings